What's happening guys? I'm Dan, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving back into more Arvon craft beer, but it's not a beer today. This is the second version of this uh, concoction that I've had from Arvon. It's another seltzer, but this one is called the Island Life Seltzer. So what they've basically done is they have made in the past a version of this that was a smoothie sour, but now we're doing the smoothie seltzer. So not completely different, but quite a lot different, right? From the original. So 5% ABV fruited seltzer with pineapple, mango, banana, pink guava, and coconut cream. The last one I had from them was absolutely bonkers. I mean, just next level, nobody competes with them uh, in smoothie sour category, not many. And then if you want to talk about smoothie seltzers, um, basically a little bit lighter version of their smoothie sour, but all in the feels, the good tastes, everything great. It puts it into the can, guys. Uh, what you're getting on the side is basically exactly what it's going to taste like in the middle of the can. Let's get into this one and check it out. This is going to be $5.99. Uh, and this just got dropped into distribution uh, literally today. So time of recording, it's the 5th of September. Look at this, man. You can't convince me that that's a seltzer. I don't even know how they consider this a seltzer, but it's like tapioca pudding meets sour beer meets yogurt. I don't, that's smoothie, I don't know. And then you have like, the, again, that tapioca kind of bubbling, the boba tea, I call it on top, and you're just, it's crazy. I just spilled some, it's crazy. That was alcohol abuse. Um, so, it's ridiculous, it looks insane, it looks like exactly what I thought Arvon would produce because that's what they do. I mean, great can art too. Top tier. Again, $5.99 for this can. You're going to pay for quality. Uh, that's what it is. So this is what we're left with. Crazy looking. I don't even know. Can I get an aroma? Oh yeah, man. It's just pure beach, pure island life. Like it says, it's beach life. Uh, it's tropical. It's, it's smoothie. It's strong. It's still not too sweet like it's certainly got the smoothie candy going on from the fruits but then it, it's not like it's doused in sugar right it's got this good drink ability at least on the other one where you could drink this whole thing no problem and so i'm getting more of the same so basically i'm getting a lot of guava i'm getting a lot of banana smoothness what else yeah tons of banana coconuts faint i was looking to see coconuts very faint on this the other one was a coconut bomb just an absolute coconut bomb but it's good. I mean, like the mango, pineapple, pink guava, very apparent, just harmonious together. Uh, let's get into this, guys. Island life, I'm literally above the brim here. <laughs> cheers, cheers, Arvon. Thick, that's a thick ass boy. It's so good. It's so good. It does not make sense. Nobody can compete with Arvon. I'm, I'm sorry, I mean, I'm not getting paid to say this. It's just straight up my opinion. I don't know. Again, I'm not a huge proponent for this category. I'm not like a, a let's do the smoothie sour smoothie seltzers. But this is delicious. It's it's not even. I don't know how it's alcoholic. I don't know how it's even considered a beverage that's alcoholic. Uh, it's just deliciousness in the glass. It's thick. It's pulpy. It's smoothie juice. It's yogurty, it's banana, it's tapioca-like, um, but all in the right ways. It's highly carbonated, so there's a little bit of acidity as well coming from the um, tropical fruits in this. It, it, the guava is really piercing, uh, but it blends really well with the pineapple and the mango. And not, there's not even pineapple, but that's what it tastes like. Uh, it's just crazy. There is pineapple. Jeez. That's what it tastes like, because it is. it's just a, a harmonious tropical bomb. Uh, it, the coconut, though, very subdued. I think it's like a banana... Uh, coconut cream, just a layer of just smoothness, and it adds a little bit of a, another layer of body to this uh, beverage. I'm like chewing it and swallowing it. The creamy banana thing, out of this world, stupid good. Um, I don't know what else there is to say, guys. Like I don't, I don't know how they do this. I don't, I don't want to even like rate these. It makes me mad because I don't know how to critique them. They're, they're absurd. Even for me, I, I'm a guy that like nowadays wants a lager. Like if you're going for clear, crisp drinkability, well, you know, you might not pick this, right? And at least I wouldn't. But if somebody put this in front of my face and gave me a sip, I'd be like, what, what is this magical smoothie you made me? What, what is this? And then you tell me it's alcoholic. How? How sway? How? 
it's not. It just doesn't come off that way and it's 5% of goodness. Again, creamy, ridiculous, smoothie bomb, seltzer. Next level good, guys. I, I don't know what to say besides this is one of the best products you're ever gonna get on the market for smoothie, sour, seltzers, whatever, whatever this is. They crap on 450 North. They absolutely shart on 450 North. I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry, unbiased. They shit on them. They, they just kill them. So guys, if you, if you like 450 North products, in my opinion, shh, don't tell anyone, this is much better. Like these products from Arvon are next level, stellar, ridiculous, amazing, tropical smoothie bomb, amazing, amazingness. 4.9 out of five. I, I wish it was a little bit lighter and more drinkable, but it's still crushable, ridiculously tasty. 4.9 out of five for Island Life Seltzer for this category, whatever you want to say. If I was talking beer terms, no, I'm not gonna go 4.9 out of five, but for Alcoholic seltzer beverage, four nine out of five. Arvon, I don't know how. Till next time, guys. Cheers, pros. Yamas, amazingness in a glass.